And I wanted to come to Japan was to study uh, like the traditional wooden joinery. As a foreigner looking from outside, I think maybe Japanese people don't appreciate them so much because you're used to them. Konnichiwa, Melkari R. Hody no Fujimoto desu. Melkari no Kenkyu Kaihatsu Soshiki de Aru R. Hody no Channel dewa, Mina san ni yakedatsu, Mirai no Technology no Hana Shio Oto Toke Shimas. Genzai, Tokyo Daiga Kuraizu to Melkari R. Hody de Kachiko Kanko Gaku Symposium. というオンライン企画を実施しております。えー、今回は価値交換工学のリサーチアシスタントの皆さんが取り組んでいる研究テーマ、えー、紹介する動画となります。RA のお一人であるマリア・ラーソンさんの研究を本日ご紹介します。マリアさんは価値交換工学で木材の構造、えー、木目を専門に研究されています。現在木材は金属に代わる持続可能な建築材料として改めて注目されているそうです。しかし、均質な金属やプラスチックとは異なり、木材は繊維の方向など内部構造が複雑です。そこでマリアさんは機械学習を用いて木目、つまり木材の内部構造を画像から推定する研究を進めています。これによって機械が自動的に木目に沿って木材を加工したり木材の良し悪しを画像から判断したりできるようになるかもしれません元建築士で現在はコンピューターサイエンスやグラフィックスの研究を進めるマリアさん価値交換工学らしい学際的なお話を伺いましたのでぜひご覧くださいトピックのマイリサーチは to analyze wood material specifically so we try to Uh, analyze the structure of wood, and I hope that this can be used to,、um, yeah, to kind of measure the value of solid wood products. And、uh, yeah, how on the kind of value exchange market or between consumers, I think、uh, normally maybe the kind of things that are appreciated is.、Uh, Brands like you already know, like it has a high quality because you only know about the brand that has a good reputation.、Uh, but if you go to some、uh, secondhand store on the street, you usually find a lot of、uh, like antiques and including a lot of、um, products from wood, like wood tables,、uh, wood chairs that might be really old but they're still、um, appreciated for their quality. So by analyzing Yeah, the structure of the wood crane, maybe we can,、uh, we can bring, like, help to communicate、uh, that kind of sense of quality of good products that might not have a particular brand. So, my name is Maria Larsen.、Uh, I、um, am a PhD student at Kodai and、uh, in the、uh, User interface and computer graphics. But before starting PhD, I was、uh, working as an architect. I also did an architecture degree at the、uh, master's degree at the Todai in the architecture department. And、um, yeah, during this time and when I was working, you actually work with a lot of、uh, yeah, digital tools as an architect. And I got more and more interested into this. And then、uh, now I'm kind of trying to combine these. Interests in、uh, yeah, your physical environment and uh, uh, kind of computer interfaces and computer algorithms. And yeah, I'm originally from、uh, Sweden and I've been、uh, in Japan for a combination, if I combine the different times, for seven years. The that、uh, we made is called Tsugiti, which yeah, is、uh, one of the Japanese words for joinery. And in this project, we try to、uh, make it、uh, smooth for people to design joints and also to fabricate them with、uh, subtractive manufacturing with、uh, so called uh, uh, CNC machine by milling out the joints. Because, yeah, there is of course a long tradition of traditional joints that have super cool shapes, especially in Japan. And to make、uh, both buildings and furniture, but these joints have to be hand carved,、uh, which is fine, but uh, it uh, takes a lot of time to learn the skill. So, another way to manufacture joints is by、uh, this kind of automated milling. 
it's similar to 3D printing but the opposite so uh, you have a mill bit that instead moves around and instead of adding material it removes material so this is really good uh, to use on wood for example uh, and you can make really precise nicely fitting joints but the difficult thing is machine has certain uh, limitation you cannot make any shape the joints needs to come together and you want to make sure um, yeah it's sort of many practical constraints like the sliding direction how much friction is this is some part going to fall off so we made an interface that kind of integrates this uh, knowledge uh, so that even you don't know much about joinery you can design your joint and then uh, print it and uh, so yeah, that was the uh, kind of idea behind, uh, behind this project. And then, yeah, while we, I was working on this project, actually, I, we, we realized that the direction of the fiber is really important for the, uh, for the structure, for, for the structural performance of the joint, because the fibers of the wood, they run in, uh, in a particular direction, and along the fiber, it's super strong. You, can, you cannot break it. But if it's another direction, it falls off quite easily. And um, also reading about joinery, how craftsmen uh, of the past, they say they, they pick a certain tree because uh, of certain grain density and put it in a certain direction in the building. And this almost, uh, um, yeah, like genius uh, carpenter can know like exactly which part to use for which part of the building to make a good quality. Uh, product. So uh, this kind of got me interested into, hey, can, can we can we analyze this wood grain? And there can be very many, I think, applications for this. Like if we know the wood grain, we can we can adjust the fabrication processes. We can adjust the uh, put the right piece in the right place for structure or also for appearance. And um, yeah, so this is how. I started working on the Mokume project uh, that I'm currently working on. And uh, diving deep, deeper into the research field of wood grain, it actually spans very many fields. There's like, people in biology are simulating the growth to try to understand like, how tree grows. There is, uh, uh, there is wood engineering. People are collaborating with kind of sawmills to uh, improve the processes, how the wood is processed from a tree to planks. And there's also in computer graphics people trying to render wood, like uh, make a realistic texture in a video or in a game, for example, to, to uh, show the wood grain. And uh, yeah, looking at these different fields, uh, we, yeah, we, we found that something that's missing is that yeah, if, if I have a piece of wood and I want to know the structure of this grain, I, I can only see the outside, right? But as a human, you can kind of guess at the inside, right? It's not going to go in the complete opposite direction. And if you look at two sides, you can kind of think about, okay, maybe they, they connect like this. But the computer doesn't know this. The computer cannot synthesize this information unless you teach it how to do so. So that's one thing we want to do that you can uh, yeah just by looking at the outside if you, we have some we will have some machine learning algorithm that can approximate what the inside would look like and um, yeah then we this can have um, I think you can have multiple applications but because it's a quite interdisciplinary um, field but uh, yeah for value exchange engineering in particular yeah I think um, it's about uh, yeah, analyzing the value of existing kind of wood furniture or wood products, and yeah, among other among other things. A bit long, maybe. <laughs> 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 and, no, but I was working as a, uh, when I was working as architect and already as an architecture student, I started to get interested in wood because. Yeah, other building materials. Yeah, basically, when you make a building, you can choose from steel, concrete, or wood. But the wood construction is uh, not uh, was not so popular during kind of modern times because of the uh, fire hazard. But now people are realizing 
um, that wood is actually really good alternative material for building because it could be renewable uh, and yes, steel and concrete is very energy and material intensive. So there's a lot of, uh, uh, I think during the last 10 years or so, there's a lot of more like larger scale wooden buildings in many, many countries, Canada, Switzerland, Sweden, where I'm from and also in Japan. Um, so I was interested in wood and then one the re original reason I wanted to come to Japan was to study uh, like the traditional wooden joinery because it's such a beautiful art and so it's so difficult to understand. You don't know uh, how to make the joints or why one joint is better than the other uh, unless you study with a carpenter or something. Um, but um, yeah, so, so this uh, this kind of brought me to wood, and then now, as a, in more the field of computer science, it's a very like it's endless projects you can do with wood because it's so complex. We had this, this group, like if you look at the, some metal or plastic, it's all the same, like uh, same color everywhere, same material property everywhere. But wood has this complexity in the both of the shape. The outer shape is complex, like these branches. <laughs> And also the internal structure has this uh, complex structure, and uh, and then the yeah, joinery itself is also. Uh, we we did one work on it, but I can also there can also be a whole lifetime just uh, just focusing on this. <laughs> so it's a very rich uh, topic, and uh, yeah, it can be good for a sustainable future. Oh, it's very different. <laughs> if I answer uh, very honestly, <laughs> like uh, working for architect, I was working for somebody else. <laughs> yeah, always somebody telling you what to do. And, and if it's not your boss, it's the client. And uh, sometimes something is very inefficient way. Like you have to, you have a whole building with 2000 doors. And you need to, in an Excel sheet, like put, does it open to the right or does it open to the left? <laughs> or something like this. And, and the, but you don't have it because you don't, don't do research. So you don't have the plan to uh, reinvent the process to make it, uh, to, to make it automated or something. <laughs> you just have to do your task. So what I like about research is that I can, I can, I have a chance to more freedom and a more chance to kind of, um, uh, to to really think about how to do something in a in a new way or in a better way, and that's uh, that's fun. <laughs> but I liked working as an architect too. Like, uh, yeah, I, I I I liked that too. It was uh, yeah, it was fun. But um, this is it's fun things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of people care about the sustainability. I think the kind of people that go into architecture is usually... Um, like, maybe you don't go into architecture for the money, but you go in because it's a, kind of a tough work <laughs> uh, more. But uh, you people have some idea about how they want the world to be, or uh, many people are like vegans <laughs> and have uh, some particular lifestyle. and. Uh, People do care a lot about sustainability, but but it's not only the architects that decide. But you you cannot change the construction processes, and and things cost a lot of money when you make a building. So you don't have so much freedom. Uh, so I think in order to change something, to make it more sustainable, it needs to be very holistically approached from uh, almost from the level of politics to construction and, and, and so on. Um, yeah, <laughs> but people do care about this. Um, yeah, so at the moment I'm working on this kind of some implicit geometric function for wood grain and to uh, approximate the wood grain based on the outside. And um, I, I hope that uh, this will be like, a, like one piece of puzzle and then there can be many other like applications that can use this afterwards and um, like one example with fabrication is that yeah when i think it's the easiest to understand perhaps like when um, 
when if you're a carpenter and you cut the wood, you and you use a chisel, for example, you wouldn't cut in certain directions because it's hard. You would cut in some direction according to the wood grain. Uh, but the machine that handles wood material doesn't know anything about the material, so it just just goes. <laughs> but if it has, if you can adjust the fabrication process to this information, maybe you can make better quality product or make it faster, uh, like better quality as in like nicer texture on the surface. And then, yeah, for in, in the case for value exchange engineering, I think, yeah, when you have an image with wooden product, you can, uh, you can use maybe to, um, to better know which, which species of wood is this, is this a good wood, is this a hard, like a hard wood, is this a high value wood or not, to make such analysis from image. Yeah, I, I think I, I have many favorite uh, architects, or <laughs> I don't know if I can like say one, but one architect that works a lot with wood that was also um, at Todai is uh, Kengo Kuma. And uh, uh, yeah, they, have, they also work a lot with wooden joinery and so on. I will talk that um, yeah, Kengo Kuma is really like, keen on making uh, uh, yeah, that's many wood buildings, and I also like uh, traditional, um, yeah, traditional wooden houses in Japan. I think are, as a foreigner looking from outside, I think uh, maybe Japanese people don't appreciate them so much because you're used to them. Uh, but it's actually really beautiful and uh, really nice. Usually very nicely crafted, very nice beams, very nice, uh, yeah, very nice ha handcraft from very good materials. Um, so I, I, I always appreciate going into like an old Japanese wooden house too. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I think that my, uh, where I come, like where this project started from or come from is uh, more the things I know about like fabrication and architecture and structure and so on. Uh, but I hope to find some, uh, yeah, some other, like applications in other areas by collaborating with Mercury. Maybe I'm thinking myself like of various things, but I hope that, you know, through discussion, you can come up with ideas that I couldn't come up with by myself <laughs> or, or using you know, this project. Ah, through my website. So, yeah, I like... Uh, I like sustainability, like uh, that you you have just enough things. And but what you have, but I also really like like good quality products, good quality home, or good quality food, or good quality furniture. But I think that can be part of uh, sustainability. That instead of buying some cheaply manufactured plastic thing, uh, you more yeah considered considering more about the objects around you so you can keep them for a longer time and also yeah update if necessary so I imagine maybe a future society where you have maybe less things but uh, but things that you can keep longer and that are nicer and uh, yeah wood is one one of those one component of that <laughs> ということで、今回は価値観観光学リサーチアシスタントのマリアさんの動画をご覧いただきました。この動画が面白い、ワクワクしたと感じた方は、チャンネル登録、高評価ボタンをお願いします。価値観観光学シンポジウムのコーナー、まだまだ続きますので、これからの動画も楽しみにお待ちください。また、現在実施中の価値観観光学のオンラインコミュニティの詳細なども概要欄に記載しておりますので、ぜひご覧ください。それではまた次の動画で。